Hey there, Simon here from AQ Outdoors, checking in with a quick video on how to run Cartwheel Corner on the Kananaskis River near Calgary. We are doing this video as lots of local paddlers and students ask us how to successfully and consistently run this fun mini boof line. So there are a few key things to being successful in this, and for context, the outcome we are looking for is to boof off the ledge, into the eddy, and maintain momentum away from the hole. To start trying this move, you want to feel pretty comfortable in the race course and probably have a pretty decent roll. If the boof is unfamiliar to you, it would be really worth clicking the link above and checking out our How to Boof video, which was all filmed on the Kananaskis, so it's very relevant to this manoeuvre. First up is identifying the currents at play. You can see here from the graphics that there are two main currents and one seam that we need to be aware of. There's the current moving downstream from the eddy we leave the current wrapping off the left bank and the seam that the meeting of these two currents creates. Now that we've identified the currents and features that will affect our boat, we can address the strategy to navigate the move. We're going to use the main current to generate what will be our cross current speed, which will allow us to reach the drop and ultimately skip through the eddy and away from the hole. As we approach the seam, we know that it's going to try and turn our boat downstream, which is a very common error we see. Instead, we have to offset the spin where the currents change, either by doing a proactive stroke on the downstream side, or angling our boat a little to the left so the spin doesn't come on too fast. Once we get across the seam with angle and speed control, we can start to edge our boat, which will initiate a slow carving turn and we prepare our downstream blade to perform the final stroke as we go over the lip of the drop. It's important as we land in the eddy that we flatten our kayak so the boat is able to skip out and maintain speed and stability. Some of the most common problems we see from paddlers learning this move are as follows. The main one is just turning downstream on the seam, which leads to just running the rapid down the middle through the wave train. The second one is the opposite of that, where they turn upstream on the seam and spin out and wind up facing upstream. The third most common one is having the angle open up too late so the bow doesn't get downstream at all and paddlers end up kind of falling into the hole almost sideways. So in summary, I personally think the key to success in this move is simply identifying all the currents at play and ensuring that you're comfortable with the angle and speed that you need to cross the seam. Once you get that right, it's gonna be minor adjustments to make sure that the bow of your boat is in the right place at the right time as you go off the lip of the drop. So take the time to get out of your boat, identify the currents and the seam for real, and then play around with angles and speed as you cross that, and you'll very quickly be on your way to successfully boofing Cartwheel Corner. Thanks so much for checking out the video. We hope you found it useful. If you've got questions or comments, please put them below and we'd be stoked if you liked the video or subscribe to our channel. Or check us out at aqoutdoors.com.